Hi guys, Raspberry Pi Zero only has one USB port. It is enough for RetroPie console with one controller, headless server with USB to Wi-Fi adapter, and many other applications. But I would like to build something with Zero that requires a USB device, but I would also like to have some removable storage. I can't use USB stick because I need that single USB port for something else. How about the micro SD card? Well, I want to keep the system running 24-7 and can't remove the card that has the operating system. How about the second SD card? That's right, that will work. I will just need to add the connector, enable it in config.txt file and I'm good to go. If you find this video helpful or interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button. Adding the connector is easy. Straight connection from VCC to 3.3 volt on Raspberry Pi's GPIO header and from ground to ground. Then 22 to 33 ohm resistors between clock and GPIO 22, command and GPIO 23, and lastly data 0 and GPIO 24. That's it. Last thing to do is adding this line to the config.txt file. DT overlays are device tree overlays. Device tree is used to describe the used hardware, for example what peripherals should be enabled. Device tree overlay is an optional component or module that can easily be added to the device tree or removed from it depending on what is needed. This line enables overlay called SDIO. It enables the second SDIO bus sets poll once parameter off to enable polling the bus even after the system has booted and bus with to one because we connected only one data pin, data zero. After rebooting, system should detect the SD card when it's inserted to the slot. The card will show up in dev. The card itself is MMC PLK1. Partitions will have P and partition number in the end. MMC PLK1 P1 for example. This card and its partitions can now be handled just like any other storage device. You can mount and format partitions and so on. There you go, super easy way to add removable storage to the Raspberry Pi Zero without wasting the only USB port. I will add link to Ben Brown's website in the description. There's a great written tutorial for this. It is very informative and helpful. Couldn't done this without it. Go check it out.